What's up, guys? Having my tuna here, trying to get my protein in. Okay, so in this video, we're going to be talking about overhead press, and particularly, is overhead press necessary to grow big shoulders? The problem I have with the question lies in the word necessary. Necessary means that you can't do anything else except that exercise to get big shoulders. So obviously the answer is no. There are other exercises you can do to grow big shoulders aside from overhead press. I think a better question would be, is overhead press a good exercise to help you develop bigger and stronger shoulders? And the answer to that would be yes. I think it's a great exercise to incorporate uh, in your routine if you're trying to get bigger and stronger shoulders. Now in particular, what does overhead press hit? Overhead press, if you're looking at your shoulders, primarily going to hit the front part of your shoulder. It'll still engage a bit of the side shoulder as well. So it's a, it's a decent movement. But in particular, most people don't have a hard time growing the front of the shoulder. Most of the time, the side and the rear delt in particular is what's kind of lagging or suffering. And uh, that could be for a few different reasons. I think primarily it's because a lot of guys especially do a lot of bench press, incline press, machine press movements, and those will hit the chest a lot, but also hit a bit of the front of the shoulder. And so if you consider that, I don't think there's a lot of added benefit to spending a bunch of extra time focusing on things like front raises or overhead press just to grow the front part of the shoulder. It would be better served if you incorporate overhead press in your routine, but also spend a lot more time focusing on the side and the rear delts is what I would suggest. So for those reasons, I think it's important to uh, take a look at your own shoulder development and kind of decide where am I lacking? Am I lacking in this particular area or that particular area? And how can I prioritize my training to help me develop that part of my shoulder? And so overhead press is a great exercise. I would highly encourage and recommend you have it in your shoulder training routine. I think it's a good compound exercise that allows you to lift progressively heavier weight. And that's going to help you ultimately to get bigger and stronger. When you compare that to something like a lateral raise, you're not going to be making as much progress in terms of weight by trying to progressively overload on lateral raises compared to overhead press. Not to go off on too much of a tangent, but overhead press is also difficult to progressively overload on. Adding 5 pounds or 10 pounds to your overhead press is a pretty significant amount. Uh, but it is a bit easier to progress on that exercise, the overhead press, versus something like a lateral raise. And so I think that's why it can be a great exercise for your shoulder training. But in particular, I would incorporate not only the overhead press, but also definitely would highly encourage and recommend things like lateral raises with dumbbells, a machine, or cables. Great way to do that and, and hit the side of your shoulders. As well as rear delt raises, base pulls, reverse flies. Those are great exercises for the back part of your shoulders as well. And so just look at your shoulder training in totality. Look at all the different parts of your shoulders that you're working, where your weak points are, and where you can work to develop them to make them more balanced, healthier, and stronger. Uh, that's basically what my approach to shoulder training has been, and that's what's gotten me the, the most bang for my buck, the most uh, benefits, I would say, overall. Um, and so everyone's going to be a little bit differently, but just if we're talking in generalities, I think the front part of the shoulder is usually the area that most people are pretty strong in. And so spending some extra time and effort on the side and the rear delts is going to be more beneficial than just doing overhead press and getting out. So in summary, do overhead press if you can. I would encourage it. It's a great exercise, but also make sure you're hitting the, the rear and the side deltoids and maybe take a, uh, an extra look at your training. If you're doing a lot of front delt work, you're already doing tons of pressing and you're doing overhead press and you're also doing things like front raises, Maybe you can skip the front raises, spend more time doing lateral raises or rear delt raises to, again, balance your shoulders out, be more efficient with your time, and help you to grow bigger and stronger shoulders. So hopefully this video made sense. Don't want to go too long on this topic, but it is a common question I get asked, and so hopefully this is helpful for you and can help you to grow bigger and more muscular-looking shoulders, because that's what we're all after. Get that V-taper. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.